this week on Inside Boulder News. Boulder's public library restored some of its services. Find out what they are. Construction is gearing up for North Boulder. And City Council designates March 22nd as Boulder Day of Remembrance. Welcome to Inside Boulder News, your source for all things Boulder. I'm Jocelyn Avendaño. Updates have been made to the county's mask order this week. According to Boulder County Public Health, facial coverings are no longer required outdoors. Although no longer required under law, BCPH still recommends wearing a face mask whenever social distancing cannot be maintained between members of different households outdoors. And indoors, face coverings are still required for everyone older than 10, regardless of vaccination status or group size. Masks are still required when using rideshare services and public transportation as well. This order will remain in effect for 30 days. More information may be found on boco.org forward slash COVID-19. While vaccinations are resulting in much needed optimism, it is important to understand that this virus is still very much present in Boulder County. In fact, the average number of new cases continued to grow this week. According to local health officials, increased travel, larger gatherings, and more mixing of households leads to a greater risk of exposure and exposing others. Until many more people are vaccinated, it is important to stay six feet apart, limit your interactions with other households, and wear a mask indoors in public spaces. At the end of last month, Boulder Public Library announced that it was restoring some of its services. Let's take a look. The children's area at the main library is now open six days a week. Meadows Branch Library is open for self-service Holtz pickup, computer use, and limited collections browsing. Holtz carry-out appointments and returns are now available at the Noble Corner Library. Despite facing budget shortfalls, the library continues to offer a wide range of services, including online library resources and a wide variety of virtual programs for all ages. The library is currently planning to open up the George Reynolds Branch Library to provide limited services as early as this summer. More information may be found on boulderlibrary.org. Construction is gearing up for a section of North Broadway. This project is slated to start later this month and is expected to take 18 months to complete. The North Broadway Reconstruction Project will provide long-term pavement maintenance and improve safety and comfort for people using all modes of transportation through this section of roadway from Violet Avenue to US 36. This length of roadway will now be paved with concrete and include buffered bike lanes. Planning and design for the project began in 2016 and continued for a number of years. Construction is planned to start in spring 2021 and is expected to take approximately 18 months to complete. Committee members can expect to see some traffic changes during construction. April 2021 travel shifts include for vehicles, the new southbound lane is constructed. The vehicle travel lanes will shift east to the existing northbound lane and the existing bike lane. All street parking on the east side of Broadway will be removed in April 2021 until the end of construction. The northbound bicycle lane on the east side of the street will be removed beginning April 2021 until the end of construction. Bicycle and pedestrian rerouting will be west of the project site along 9th Street and the multi-use path. Maps for this rerouting may be found on the website seen on your screen. Please visit Cone Zones for any rerouting and construction updates throughout the project. The City and County of Boulder, along with their North Metro partners, are urging community members to consider ways to reduce water use at their home or business as spring and summer approach. Despite the heavy snow that hit the Front Range in March, mountain snowpack is still below average in some areas and stream flow levels are expected to be low to average in the upcoming season. As of late last month, dry conditions will cover 100% of the state, with 62% of the state in severe, extreme, or exceptional drought categories according to the U.S. Drought Monitor. All customers in the North Metro area are encouraged to find ways to save water to help prevent drought restrictions and maintain water supply throughout the summer. Some recommendations include wait to water lawns. It is recommended to program your sprinkler system to start in May or June. In the meantime, you can hand water trees and plants as needed. Water less frequently. Watering twice a week will make grass roots grow deeper and allow the grass to last longer without water. Water in the evening, night, or early morning. This will help reduce water loss. When it rains, water accordingly. Let the grass grow longer before cutting it. A taller lawn provides shade to the roots and helps retain soil moisture. 
water lawns, plants and trees, not roads and sidewalks, fix leaks, and plan ahead and plan efficiently. Delay new lawn installations for a non-drought year and avoid planting during the mid-summer heat. For more information, please visit the city's newsroom. It's been over two weeks since the tragic shooting at the Table Mesa supermarket on March 22nd, a tragedy unlike any our community has faced before. Ten of our beloved community members were killed, including Boulder Police Officer Eric Talley. This week, Boulder City Council declared that March 22nd will be designated as the Boulder Day of Remembrance to honor the lives tragically lost last month. It has been said that there are three deaths. The first is when the body ceases to function. The second is when the body is returned to the earth. And the third is that moment, sometime in the future, when the person's name is spoken for the very last time. Let us never allow this third death of our 10 fallen neighbors. As long as we remember them, they will never truly die. Thank you so much for joining us on this week's edition of Inside Boulder News. Stay tuned to Boulder Channel 8 for up-to-date information on coronavirus. Connect with us on Facebook and Twitter. You can also sign up to receive video updates right in your inbox. Just go to boulderchannel8.com and click on subscribe. And be sure to check out the city's online newsroom for the latest city news. We'll see you next time.